And we're looking forward to continuing uh, to build the economic ties that we have with China. But we, what we talked about today uh, was the economic ties that we've been building uh, and the private sector has been building, uh, not only in Nova Scotia, but indeed across the country. Uh, we want to continue that. Uh, and the, that direct flight is another way for us as a region uh, to grow our tourism numbers and grow the economic benefit for our citizens. There's an economic relationship that is required. We need to continue to provide good opportunities. Uh, I've said this many times, uh, if you want to change the outlook uh, of uh, Chinese citizens around how you govern, uh, you look at what's happening right now in Hong Kong. Those young people have seen uh, a different type of democracy and they want to keep it. Uh, our going in uh, and welcoming more Chinese into our province we believe it will send, show the next generation of young Chinese that uh, the, the governance uh, that we have here in Canada is a model that we believe uh, could be around the world but staying away uh, doesn't change anything. Uh, not engaging doesn't change anything. Uh, the national governments make it very clear through the, uh, through the Prime Minister and through the Ambassador uh, their, their uh, opposition to what's happening there. We raise it, but we also then go in and make those economic ties and we'll continue to do so. Ambassador Barton has been very clear as well as uh, so has the Prime Minister and his uh, ministers. Uh, they recognize that we as a province on the east coast of Canada uh, uh, have tremendous products. Uh, we also uh, continue to move people in note. Uh, let's face it, the economics between our two countries hasn't changed. Uh, the private sector has continued to grow a relationship in China. Uh, we need uh, this issue solved. We need the national governments to come together to find a resolution to that. But in the meantime, we as a, a small province on the East Coast need to continue to build on the work that we've already been doing in China uh, to make sure that for our citizens, the economic opportunities associated with that will be a benefit to them.